as some of you might know, in 2018, I kind of, out of nowhere, picked up running. Uh, in Rewind to December of 2018, one of my really good friends, Blaze, he, out of nowhere, with 12 hours notice, asked me if I wanted to do a four-miler uh, training event with the Pittsburgh Marathon team. Yesterday I got a text message from my good friend Blaze that said, would you be interested in running a four-mile race with me tomorrow? So, like, I, I, today, like, running a race, but, for me to run, like, historically, like, for me to get me to, like, actually run, that would require a pack of bears literally chasing me down at top speed. And even then, I would kind of turn around and consider whether or not it's worth running. This is horrible. Very reluctantly, very, very, very reluctantly, um, I, I said, I said yes. I didn't think I was going to enjoy it. I thought it was going to be something that I just did uh, for, you know, just do something to do. However, what I, I didn't realize is I really fell in love with running. I really fell in love with the journey, the process of, you know, of working with my body to achieve this this awesome thing. And so over the last 11 months, I have really done, you know, everything from short events and, you know, 5Ks to, you know, 10Ks to a half marathon that I did in May. And it's, it's just been such a journey that I've had so much fun on. And I definitely will continue uh, running you know, casually through the winter, however, I really, uh, I think I'm going to hang up the events until next spring. But uh, this is, so this is my last, this is my last event of 2019. Tomorrow is the EQT 10 miler in Pittsburgh and I am so, so excited. I'm definitely going to run a personal best. I am just so excited to really just, um, uh, you know, just to have this final event of 2019 and really get out there and just enjoy myself and absolutely give it my all. For dinner tonight, I made an awesome, simple, you know, onions, garlic, celery, carrots, pasta dish that I'm just so excited about. I'm gonna crush that in a few minutes. And then I got my breakfast and pretzels ready for tomorrow. I got my cliff, cliff blocks ready for during the run tomorrow. I got my water, I got my multivitamins. I am ready to go and so, so, so excited. So why don't you come along with me and see my final run of 2019. running a little bit behind schedule but uh, the car is completely iced over so I'm not going much of anywhere I tried going out and scraping it off but it's not coming off I wasn't expecting that uh, first two days of uh, November and all of a sudden it's literally below freezing I put the defogger on and should get moving in the next five minutes or so I'm in the parking lot. Um, uh, I'm gonna stay in the car for a few minute, more minutes just to stay warm because it is 31 degrees out there. Was not quite expecting that. Um, uh, yeah, so just gonna be in here for a few more minutes just to stay warm. Then I'm gonna head out and over to the start line and I will be back after I finish the 10 miles. They're here for you guys to celebrate this Pittsburgh themed race. Thank you so much. Thank you.
right, so it's finished. It's done. The 10 miler is in history. It was a great run, so much fun. All kinds of themes throughout the race, all kinds of free food and cookies and stuff that I did not stop at because I do not stop no matter what. Uh, <laughs> maybe that was a little too aggressive, but I, I had so much fun. It was a great, great, great event. I really, I beat uh, PRs across the board. I think I did my, my two mile PR, my 5K PR, my 10K PR, my 15K PR. Yeah, so I'm just so excited. It was so much fun. I just got back in the car. I'm gonna head back to my apartment, get a shower, changed, and get some food. It was really a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic run. Great way to close out the season. Um, really some great memories. And I made a great playlist that really just pushed me to go further and further and further. A lot of Eminem screaming at my ears telling me I'm worthless if I don't go faster. Um, <laughs> but seriously, so much fun. It was just, uh, yeah, it was a, it was a, a culmination of the running that I've been doing over the last 11 months. And um, I believe, I'll put the exact numbers in here, but I, I believe that the last time I ran this kind of distance was when I did the half marathon and my average pace was 13 minutes and change and today I ran 9 minutes and 36, 30, 36 or 34 second mile so that's, it's, it's, it's really awesome to see yourself progressing in something and there's so few things that we're able to metricize, if that's a word, uh, and quantify our progress in, in, in life. So being able to see my progress and to be able to see how I was able to shave off like three minutes and change off of my miles, like in 11 months, like that's, you know, I'm, I'm so, 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 so grateful for all of the great uh, folks and individuals that have been helping me to get a, become a better runner. Um, some of the folks that I follow on Strava, some of the people I run with in Run Club on Thursday nights, some of the people that I try and run with on Run Club on Monday nights, and they're just so much faster than me that I just see, you know, specks of light and dust in, <laughs> in the far distance, and I know I'm on the right route, but um, seriously, this is, uh, I had so much fun. Great, great way to close out the 2019 season because it is far too cold. Started the race at 28 degrees and finished the race at 35 degrees. I have no interest in doing any of that. <laughs> so uh, you'll see me in May at the full marathon right here in Pittsburgh, first weekend in May. All right, I had so much fun. See you later.